My name is Reinhard Engels, and I'm working on Highbrow, a textual annotation viewer. Well, for one thing, it's sort of like Highlight Browser. Highbrow shows you a visualization of a literary work and the regions that different commentators uh, have found interesting, either individually or as a group. So you can see very quickly uh, which regions of a work have attracted the most interest, either from human beings or algorithms. For example, uh, let's take the Bible. The Bible's a great example uh, because it's got this great coordinate system, book, chapter, verse that has been used for uh, hundreds or thousands of years uh, by different commentators. And uh, I can easily then map these commentaries onto the Bible and produce a visualization so you can see, you know, St. Augustine was really interested in the Gospel of Matthew and John, but not the Gospel of Mark at all. Maimonides loves the first book of Ezekiel. It's, it's a huge spike there. Let's zoom in and see what's going on there. It's also interesting then to consider not just individual commentators, but groups of commentators. Are there tendencies that Catholic commentators versus Protestant commentators versus uh, Jewish commentators or Marxist or atheist commentators have? Uh, and then you can get a, a striking visual picture then. So one thing that's cool is you can also do interactive searching. So you can map uh, what regions, like you can put in just sort of arbitrary search terms or regular expressions, and then see a graph of where these terms occur in a literary work and whether these coincide with different uh, regions of, of critical interest. Looking at these aggregations is kind of the way to dive into this. So I have them by default grouped by century. So you can see what do 15th century commentators find interesting as opposed to 19th century commentators as opposed to 21st century commentators. We also have it being used in two classes on uh, Emerson's works. And in these classes, uh, instead of uploading existing annotations and visualizing them from uh, you know, uh, these great authorities from centuries ago, it's the students themselves who are doing the annotating. Uh, and this gets them, it's, it's useful because one, it gets them really engaged with the text. Uh, and it also gets them um, engaged with each other and having sort of these conversations that are very focused then around bits of the text. You know, they, they input what questions they have, regions they found interesting, and then a discussion gets started. You can also, although it's intended for, for literary works, you can easily apply to sort of any kind of sequence data. Uh, I'd love to point it at the Constitution and sort of map what the different justices have, uh, what they tend to cite in their rulings. So you can see, you know, what bits of the original uh, do the originalists find most interesting? Uh, and are there striking patterns that emerge, uh, you know, that you can sort of uh, map to political uh, affiliation? I think it kind of ties back into this old concept of the humanities as being kind of this series of great conversations around these great works. And what Highbrow does is it, it brings technology to bear to kind of continue this, to bring the ancients, uh, you know, what did St. Augustine have to say, um, what did Longfellow have to say, and students into the same room in a way.